Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run logistic regression in Orange. Logistic regression is a supervised machine learning algorithm used for classification task where the goal is to predict the probability that an instance belongs to a given class or not. Dependent variable is always categorical. The example is patient having the heart disease or not. Independent variable can be continuous, the example is weight, or categorical, the example is smoking or not smoking. After running logistic regression model, it is necessary to evaluate it. It is done with the help of confusion matrix. On y-axis, we are having true level, that is the actual observations. On x-axis, the prediction done by the model. So 50 are such cases in which the person was having the COVID and the model also predicted it correctly. Let's talk about this one. 114 are such cases in which the person was normal and the prediction done by the model is that the person is normal. So 50 plus 114, 164 are such cases which are correctly classified by the model. Now let's talk about this part. The person is normal and according to the model, the person is having a COVID. So six such cases are there. Let's talk about this one. The person is having the COVID and the prediction done by the model is that the person is normal. So 22 plus 6, 28 are misclassified cases. This is not desirable. This is known as a leakage in the model. Cross validation. Cross-validation is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can also say that it is a technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. So this is the all data which is divided into training and test. So training data is represented by green color and testing data represented by the blue color. The data is divided into five folds. So let's say we are having 100 observations. So divided by 5, 20. Each fold is having 20 observations. Now in the first iteration, fold 1 becomes the testing data. Fold 2, 3, 4, 5 are the training data. In second iteration, fold 2 becomes the testing data. Remaining are the training data. This continues for 5 iteration till we get the optimal parameters. Now let's see how we can do this in orange. So the first widget which will activate is a file widget. Click on it. Double click on it. We can browse our own data sets from here. Click on it and activate heart one. Press open. So the first column represents the name of the variable, type, role, values age of the patient, gender, values, female, male, chest, pain type, ASY, ATA, NAP, TA, resting blood pressure, numeric, cholesterol, numeric, fasting blood sugar, categorical. So let's expand this. The values are 0 and 1. Resting ECG, LVH, normal, ST. Exercise Engina, N, Y, Maximum HR, Numeric, Old Pick, Numeric, ST Slope, Categorical, Heart Disease, Categorical, and here the role has been specified. Let us convert it into the feature and see what can happen. Reload and cross it. Now I will activate the data sampler which is in transform. Click on it. Connect this. Double click on it. So the sampling type available are fixed proportion of the data. This means 70% goes for the training, 30% goes for, for testing. Fixed sample size. We can extract fixed number of sample size 10, 20, 50. With replacement, without replacement. Cross validation, we have already seen the data is divided into 5 folds, 10 folds, which we can specify here. Bootstrapping. Now we will start with the fixed proportion of the data. Click on it. Close this. Next, we have to go in the model and activate logistic regression. Click here. 
Type it here. Then we will have to evaluate it. So test and score. Connect data sampler with the test and score. Logistic regression with the test and score. You can see a small cross on test and score. It means that the model is not running. So no need to worry. Go in the file. In hard disks, specify the role that this is my target variable. So either hard disk is yes or no. It's categorical. And reload. Done. And see the cross has gone. Now double click on it. So you will get uh, all the estimates. So the evaluation results are ready. Logistic regression area under the curve 0.926. And this is classification accuracy 0.872. F1 0.872. Precision 0.872. Recall. And this is Matthews correlation coefficient. From here, we can have cross validation by feature. No, it's not active. Random sampling. Okay. Leave one out. So it will take some time and the result is ready. Now close this. The next thing which we will activate is a confusion matrix. This is available in evaluate. Click here, connect test and score. Double click on it and just see how it's working. Actual data and predicted data. 330 are such observations in which the prediction done by the model is correct see yes and yes so 330 are such observations 233 are such observations in which the actual and prediction are also correct see the person was not having the heart disease and the prediction done is also correct that the person is not having the heart disease here person is having a heart disease and the prediction done. Yes, the person is having a heart disease. So 330, 330 plus 233 are the correctly classified cases. 37 and 43. They are misclassifications. Okay. Now on the top here. Proportion of predicted. Proportion of actual. And sum of probabilities. You can get it from here. Now close this. The next we will activate is a ROC curve. So it's available in IR evaluate only ROC analysis. Connect it. Double click on it and your ROC curve is ready. The green one. So in the ideal situation, this green curve should be nearer to Y and X axis. See the trajectory should be like this. Ideal situation. Okay, so the things which you can change from here is specification of the target. Yes or no. A person having a heart disease, yes. And the person not having the heart disease, definitely their ROC curves will be different. Uh, so ROC convex curves, so ROC convex hull, all this we can get it. Now close this, again go and evaluate, performance curve, connect it, now double click on it. So the performance curve shows the curves for analyzing the proportion of true positive data instances in relation to the classifier's threshold or the number of instances that we, that we classify as positive. So we will have to specify target yes or no so we can get lift go cumulative gains and presses and recall now close this also so these are the results for the training data set now what we'll do we'll create some space bring this here and activate predictions which are here 
double click on it see 70 70 percent data is gone for training purpose we are left out with 30 percent so connect this with the predictions and bring your model also in the predictions now double click on it and connect remaining data with the data so this will do the predictions only for the 30 percent data based on your logistic regression double click on it and just see so it consists of 275 observations right and this is a prediction so it's 275 let's see how much is the original data it is 918 and 30 percent of it so it's a prediction next we will disconnect this line take the data sampler on the top bring the logistic regression in the center and connect file with the logistic regression and activate the normograms which are available in visualize click here and connect it double click on it fine now activate the target class yes so this will give me which are the factors which contribute towards the heart disease on on the scale of probabilities so point scale log odds ratio or point scale you want absolute importance this we have already uh, discussed in my videos on on nomograms so keep absolute importance based rank 10 so the contribution is of the old pick let's shuffle it so if the old pick increases the probability of the heart disease increases okay if the cholesterol increases then also st slope uh, if it is up the probabilities are less of the heart disease down and flat ASY male so the probabilities of heart disease are more in male in comparison to female fasting blood sugar is it greater than 120 yes the probability is high it's less than 120 probabilities are low exercise angina yes probabilities will increase resting blood pressure age and maximum hr okay now close this again now we want to do the prediction for the 10 new instances which the model has never seen so again i will go into the file widget click here double click on it browse so there are two files heart one the original data set on which the training was given heart one test it's completely new data set only 10 instances are there press open and close it and connect file one with the predictions double click on it and this is the prediction done by the logistic regression model on 10 completely new instances So this was all about how to run logistic regression in orange for more videos on data mining using orange kindly subscribe to my channel you can also refer my playlist in which i have uploaded videos on data science machine learning and artificial intelligence please don't forget to like and share my videos you can also follow me on different social medias link given in the description box